to my channel find joy in the journey it is sunday uh i want to say july 28th and i'm gonna to be totally honest with you my plan was to just veg out <laughs> just be a couch potato all day find some good movies and just you know relax today and not do anything uh, but I just couldn't help it. My garden was calling me. Right now, we have clear weather. The sky is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but it's, it's picturesque. It's so gorgeous. Not even, uh, uh, there's no dark clouds in the sky. So I just couldn't help myself. I had to get out here, first of all, and do my morning inspection, make sure everything is okay. Um, but also just to see what I can get into. There's something I can do. I know the ground is saturated. I know everything is heavily, uh, you know, drenched, but that's okay. I think I can do something. I mean, I was scrolling through YouTube and I'm watching all my fellow gardeners out there putting in work. It's like, I can't lay around, are you kidding? So I'm gonna get out there and see what I can get into. There's something that can be done. Okay, as you can see, this is what I'm talking about. I absolutely despise this. I hate it. It's like I didn't put down anything. That is just regular grass, man. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I did and the reason why it's growing like this. Because as you can see, there's other spaces where that's not happening. When I first started the garden, I thought all I needed, look right there, was that black weed barrier. Well, you need a little bit more than that. Because as you can see, it is full grown grass. And it's only in this area. So That's what I'm pulling by hand. It looks better.
I'm gonna take a break. to arrive today, which is Sunday. So, I probably won't get to it today, but I wanted to pull up as much as I can, the bigger, uh, excuse me, weeds, um, and then the rest, I was just suffocated, just basically covered with the fabric, and let that do the rest, because it's too much to pull up by hand, but this little patch here, it's not all over the place, it was mainly in this area and over there because this is the original, what they call weed barrier. I wouldn't even call it landscape fabric because it's like a thin material and I doubled it. But that's all I put down. I thought that would be enough. But then on the sides where you see the green tarps, I used landscape fabric two layers of landscape fabric and uh, a tarp and that is working much better so this is going to be um, a totally different fabric that's coming and so I wanted to pull up as much as I could by hand so that I can come back over it with the landscape fabric so what I can't pull up I'm going to trim it down as much as I possibly can and then just smother it. Okay, that's a good idea. I mean, I will have to, I'm thinking of shoveling a little bit of the mulch because there's mulch down here too. So I actually, I guess I thought that if I put the landscape fabric and then cover it with mulch, that would be enough, but no. So this is not something I did recently. This is something I did back early spring when I was first putting everything together. So it was probably, late February, early March when I did this. And then that's when I first put in the raised beds and I thought what I had down here would be enough. And it's not. So it's mainly in this area and right back there behind the, uh, in that little aisle behind the raised beds. But everything on the outskirts is covered with tarps and fabric. And it's much better than this part. So I'm just like I was, I'm always righting my wrongs, cleaning up where I miss them. So that's enough for the day. This is, actually, the sun's coming out. It had a little uh, cloud cover, but now it's sun, and I can't stay out. So. Yeah. 
That should be enough for them. Just what I did makes me feel good.